Hewlett Smith, an occupational therapist and also the co-founder and CEO of Rehab Marked. I'm here today to demonstrate a new product called the Flexor Go. It is a wireless surface EMG. If you were taking this out of the box for the first time, you would need to charge the electrode. So you would want to uh, plug in the USB to the charging dock. And then you want to align the uh, three silver lead stations. So just align those up, make sure they match. And if they match, of course, when you plug it in, you will see either a red light, the battery is not fully charged, or a white solid light, which will appear when the electrodes are fully charged. So we're ready to begin. Open up our uh, gel electrode bag. The electrodes come in packs of 50. The gel electrodes look like this, and they simply just snap onto the actual battery you can see this snaps in quite easily with the pins. One, two, and three. And then when I get ready to begin the treatment session, I simply uh, separate the plastic backing from the gel electrode. And at that point, I'm ready to begin the treatment session and stick this onto the skin. For this section, I'm just gonna pick a sample patient, Joe Price, this is a made up patient. We're gonna go beside Joe's name and click start exercise. So I'm going to go down to forearm and choose brachial radialis. I'm gonna choose left and right, and then I'm gonna activate left and click begin wearing. I'm gonna go ahead and take the electrode and shake it and it should connect and I click next. Now it wants me to connect the right, have the right connected. Shake for the right, and the right is connected, indicated by a solid light. So it says complete here. So this is my right one. So then I need to detach the little sticky back, indicated by the white tab. And I'm gonna, it shows me on the iPad where to connect the right, and the, uh, the sensor should be longitudinally positioned along the forearm. About right here, in the middle of the break of radialis, that's the right one. Here is the left one. Again, I'm going to separate this with the white tab, remove the plastic backing from the gel electrode, and align this one in a longitudinal fashion. So now I can actually see I've got recordings going on both brachioradialysis, and I can choose to do a session. So I'm going to click New Record. For this one, I want to ask Megan to come up and hold the iPad because we're going to do a video record. So I'm going to click video record. Megan's going to hold the iPad and then I'm going to start uh, recording. The nice thing about the recording option is that you can actually see what the patient is doing. Um, you can have a patient sit down, stand up. You can see kind of their face, how hard they are they're working. The downside to the uh, video recording is that the patient doesn't really get to see the graph in real time. Mm -hmm. Only Megan is seeing the graph in real time. All right, and done. And just loading the record. At the end of all of this, if I want to export this to um, my clinician file or to my email address or even share with the patient, I hit export. The PDF is much more user friendly. So I'm gonna email this to Hewlett at rehabmark.com and it says the PDF email file has been sent. So now I can go back and actually um, watch this from my computer or download this or forward this to another person, which is really convenient. 